Thanks for watching this video and welcome to my presentation about multi-component reaction methods, which is known by MCRS. My name is Khadr Ahmad Uthman. I'm a master student at VAN using Jail University and my supervisor is Professor Dr. Esfad Akbar. And the goal of this presentation is to provide overview of the most useful and noteworthy information and examples about multi-component reactions. The object of this presentation include the first part, its introduction part, and its contained brief description about multi-component reactions, and to get familiarized with the term one pot, domino, cassette, and tandem catalysted reactions. And the second part show us three different types of multi-component reactions, and the third part explain the most common known multi-component reaction examples. And the fourth part include the application of multi-component reaction in drug discovery and other fields. And the fifth part shows various condition effects on multi-component reactions, like different type of catalysts, various source of energy, and also optimization of each parameters like concentration, temperature, time, and pressure effect on the multi-component reactions. And the final part of my presentation. I will explain how to take a step to discover new multi-component reactions, methods, and tools used for this purpose. In introduction part, as I said, I will explain brief description about multi-component reactions and what is the difference between multi-catalytic reactions, one-pot reactions, one-pot and domino cassad and tandem. Multi-component reactions can be defined as a chemical reaction in which three or more substrates reacted in one synthetic operation to form highly selective products with highly atomic efficiency. And the characteristic of the multi-component reaction is that the final product is contain almost all portion of substrate. And multi-component reactions offer a great possibility for obtaining molecular diversity and complexity in a fewer steps and less time. And it is a powerful strategy in synthetic organic chemistry and drug discovery. Multi-component reactions, these reactions often show high level of radio and chemo and stereoselectivity. There are some of basic concepts that are related to multi-component reactions are briefly described in the following text in order to familiarize you with this field and characteristic of this field. The previous theorem are probably familiar for the most chemists, but they have crucial differences that are important to know in order to distinguish each theorem from the others. The term one pot reactions includes these type reactions involving multi chemical transformation between reagents that are carried out in a single reactor. Multi component reactions falls into this category of one pot reactions due to the solo reactor required for carrying out of this reactions and there are multi chemical transformation involving. Fogg and Dos Santos categorized the different type of multi catalyzed one pot reactions in 2004. Some years after, Tietze set a definition of domino reactions. In this categorization, domino, cassette catalysts, and tandem catalysts, and multi-catalytic one-pot reactions were distinguished depend on the certain factors, such as the moment when the precatalysts are added and the number of catalytic mechanisms involving. Generally speaking, we can say that domino, cassette, and tandem catalysts are one pot reactions where all components are introduced at the same time at the beginning of the reactions, while in multi catalytic one pot reactions, all of reactions components are not added at the same time. Another requirement for domino, cassad, and tandem catalysis is that the successive transformation must occur as a consequence of the intermediate generated in the previous reaction steps. In four classification, Domino cassette and tandem catalysts are differentiated by the number of catalytic mechanisms presented in the reactions. Has been made clear that multi-component reactions are one-pot reactions that may also fall under categories of domino cassette and tandem reaction or tandem reactions. In second part, different reaction type of multi-component reactions. The success of multi-component one-pot transformation require a balanced equilibrium 
and suitable sequency of reversible and irreversible steps. This in the case of multi-component reactions, three types of reactions are known. The first one multi-component reaction is in which there are an equilibrium between reactant, intermediate and the final product. Second type of reaction is this type of multi-component reaction is equilibrium exit between reactant and intermediate and with the final product being irreversible form it. And the third part irreversible step is that proceeded from the reactant to the product. This type of multi-component reaction is are usually in biochemical transformation but rarely occurs in preparative chemistry. The third part, it is uh, this part contains the most known of examples of multi-component reactions. Since the development of streaker reactions in 1850, a great number of interesting multi-component reactions have been reported and amidst of them, some of the most significant reactions are displayed in the following slides. These reactions are named based on multi-component strategy by the discoverers. Multi-component reactions can be subcategorized into two general classes. Isocyanide basic multi-component reactions known by IMCRS like GBB three-component reactions, ORU three-component reactions, Van Lysion three-component reactions, Passarini and Yugi three component reactions, but Yugi contain three component reactions or four component reactions or more. And non isocyanide basic multi component reactions, which is known by NIMCRS. Most multi component reactions being performed with isocyanide are based on the classical Passarini and Yugi reactions. The world first multi component reaction was discovered by Stricker in 1850 and it is extremely famous for synthesis of amino acids. This reaction is a multi-component reaction which is comprised of three components, aldehyde, hydrogen cyanide, and ammonia as a substrate. After Stricker discovered in 1850, in 1881, Hans discovered a new non-isocyanide multi-component reaction which is the best known three component reaction to avoid 1,4 dihydropyridine derivatives by using beta keto ester, aldehyde, and ammonia. After that, in 1890, Hanses find another non isocyanide multi component reaction for synthesis of pyrrole by changing of two reactants which have closely the same properties. And one example for application of Hans's multi-component reaction is in drug discovery, synthesizing nifedipine compounds, which is using as a calcium channel blockers. Calcium channel blockers lower your blood pressure by preventing calcium from entering the cells of your heart and arteries. Another example of multi-component reaction is it is Bignelli reaction is, which is non-isocyanide multi-component reaction is. Bignelli reaction is one of the most remarkable examples of multi-component reaction is. Discovered in 1891 and very recently an amazing and comprehensive review has appeared covering this reaction is with more than 500 references. The original Bignelli condensation involving the reaction is aromatic aldehyde and urea or thiourea and beta keto ester and the strong acidic condition to give 3,4 dihydropyrimidine to 1 often suffer from the low yield when aliphatic or substituted aromatic aldehyde are employed. Dihydropyrimidines have been paid much more attention because their various bioactivities such as anti-inflammatory antibacterials, for example in pharmaceutical development by using these reactions, several antitubicular agents have been reported as below. In spite of its important Bignelli reaction, it is mechanism still under discussion. Previous proposal reported by Sweet and Fiske in 1973. The author suggested that the first rate limiting step was acid catalyzed aldol condensation between the 13 carbonyl compounds and the aldehyde, avoiding aldol type product, and the following acid catalyzed dehydration would be furnishing stabilized carbocation. In the next step, the urea would trap the carbocations, rendering the same intermediate. 
and the final cyclization to furnish a big nail product. The original mechanism initially proposed by Polkers and Johansson were more recently supported by CAPE. In this proposal, nucleophilic addition of urea to benzaldehyde afforded intermediate N1-hydroxy benzyl urea, which undergo rapid dehydration in the presence of acid, led to highly reactive aluminium ion. In the absence of the third component, is 13 dicarbonyl compounds, a second equivalent of urea will be added to aluminium ions and rendering base uridia. However, if 13 dicarbonyl compound is present in the reaction medium, the electron deficient immune ion is trapped by the corresponding enol totomer, furnishing this intermediate, which is then would cyclicize to desired Bignelli products. This mechanism has been further supported by other authors using mass spectroscopy and density functional theory calculation. Passarania and Yugi reactions. The advantage of multi component reaction is. The figure highlighted to the potential and the advantage of multi-component reactions is that include isocyanide, passarani, and Yugi reactions. As we can see in this figure, the only difference between the passarani and Yugi three-component reactions is passarani uses three-component reactions, but Yugi is used aniline compounds. And after post condensation transformation, different scaffolds are formed. Well, the advantage of this multi component reaction is normal simple reaction is that it's mild condition and diversity exploration and one pot methodology and operational simplicity. Step and atomic economy, not protecting group needed, and highly convention approach to complete the structure. The Passarani reaction is P3CR, discovered in 1921. The traditional multi-component Passarani reaction is, is another isonitrile-based multi-component reaction is, that provide easy access to alpha acyloxycarboxyamide in one pot synthesis involving aldehyde, carboxylic acid, and isonitrile, which has been subject of intensive study in the last decade. The importance of using isocyanide lies in its dual rulers as a nucleophile and electrophile. An accepted mechanism for this important reaction is depicted in the following scheme, where the reaction proceeds through this intermediate before the final memory arrangement to allow alpha acyloxyamide. However, the way this intermediate is formed is still focused on active debates. Application of Passarani reactions in pharmaceutical fields. The Passarani reactions also have been applied into pharmaceutical researches. For example, Holme have reported the library synthesis of novel norstatin derivatives bearing benzimidazole moieties. In 1959, Yugi reported for the first time the multi component reactions between carboxylic acid and amine carbonyl compounds and isocyanide, which is now named Yugi for component reactions and also abbreviation Yugi for CR. After this successful reaction, different versions of original Yugi reactions have been developed. The elimination of one component is usually carboxylic acid provides Yugi 3 component reaction. An application of Yugi 4 component reaction is, for example, of application using this reaction is for chemia, have been reported the synthesis of marine tubicin stenacidine, which has extremely potent anti tumor activity. Yugi reaction is more than four components, like five, six, seven and eight component reaction based on Yugi reactions. In 1993, Yugi described the possibility of carrying out seven multi-component reactions based on this strategy. However, it was not until 2009 when efficient one pot reaction is eight component was described by Oru ETL, this process involving the formation of nine bonds and eleven points of diversity. And fourth part application of multi component reaction is in drug discovery and for synthesis of biological important molecules, and also application of multi component reactions in the field of technique in imaging, such as positron emission tomography PET. As I mentioned, several examples of using multi-component reactions before was also used in the synthesis of blood coagulation factors inhibitor. The synthesis of this inhibitor is achieved through BF3 catalyzed addition of the diarol sheath base to isocyanide, benzyl or morpholionyl acid to afford this intermediate which is hydrolyzed to carboxylic acid. 
Multi-component reaction have been found application also in the field of technique imaging such as positron emission tomography, which is known by PET. In this article, Alexandra Domiling and his group is that published for April 2019, innovative approach to PET label found is introduced. Fluor 18 at dif a different level in synthesis of several small drugs like molecules as arin, beta-lactam, prazole, and oxazole obtained. And the combination of PET labeling with multi-component reaction synthesis of biological active compounds can be greatly simplified radioanalytical and imaging-based analysis. And the scheme is showed that general multi-component reactionist synthesis fluor 18 of tetrazol scaffolds. And the fifth part, optimization of multi-component reaction is optimization different reaction parameters to promote formation desired product. In 1997, Yugi proposed a classification system for multi-component reaction based on the reversibility for individual reactions. This reversibility parameters play an important role in the result obtaining component reactions, and they change depending on the reaction conditions. Optimization this condition is a really challenging aspect because the best condition for aspect individual reactions are not usually the best condition for development multi-component reactions. Since optimization one of the chemical transformation generally result in the change the efficiency of the other transformation, for this reason a compromise must be found through the exploration and optimization different reaction parameters such as solvent, concentration and temperature. This optimization step may be represent one of the most difficult tasks for development new multi-component reactions. However, recent development in multi-component reactions within other area of the chemistry, such as computational chemistry or analytical chemistry, have provided valuable tools for saving time and resources in multi-component reactions optimization process. Multi-component reactions are reactions where more than two starting materials reacted in a single vessel. This collusion of three or more independent molecules is highly unlikely and each one normally requires different reaction conditions. For this reason, a compromise must be found through the exploration and optimization different reaction parameters such as solvent and concentration, time and temperature, and maybe also pressure. Choosing the suitable solvent for multi-component reaction, we should care about the reactivity, polarity, and boiling point and the amount of the solvent in the reaction and also consideration and time is important in multi-component reaction and the mole number of each reactant is and time reactions are important in the case of multi-component reactions and also temperature may be the reaction exothermic or endothermic or always consider the melting point and boiling point all components in the multi-component reactions Maybe some have a low boiling point or maybe some have low melting point or maybe some of them is decomposed. Many multi-component reactions require catalysts or source of radiation to promote the formation desired product. The catalysts employed may have different functions such as giving a desired stereo control or leading to the formation certain compounds over the other or simply ensure that the reaction can be performed. In this section, different types of catalysts employed in the multi-component reactions will be discussed briefly as well as different methods that improve efficiency of these reactions. Other methods that can be effectively employed in multi-component reactions are microwave radiation or ultrasonic irradiation or infrared radiation and photochemical irradiation. Here is a, I shortly remind you for different type of catalysts that mostly use it in multi-component reactions. Homogeneous catalysts. In homogeneous catalysts, the reaction mixture and catalysts both are present in the same phase. And some examples of homogeneous catalysts are Bronsted and Lewis acids, transition metals, organometallic complexes, organocatalysts. Heterogeneous catalysts. In heterogeneous catalysts, catalysts exit in different phase than the reaction mixture. And heterogeneous catalysts may be used as a fine particle or powder or granules, these catalysts may be deposited on the solid supports, 
support catalysts or use it in a bulk form and supported catalysts. General use it organic soiling supporters can be polymerase, example polystyrene or copolymerase, example styrene diabenylbenzene or inorganic supporters such as silica, zeolitis, alumina and activated carbon or titanium oxides and graphene. On the other hand, unsupported catalysts occupied in the large section of industrial catalysts. This include metals, metal alloys, metal oxides, and metal sulfide, etc. Heterogeneous site, homogeneous catalysis. Combination two different type of catalysis. Homogeneous catalysis is grafted onto the solid supported. Biocatalysis in multi-component reactions, natural proteins, enzymes, or nucleic acids, RNA or DN, used to catalyze specific chemical reaction outside of living cells. It's called biocatalysis. Enzymes are obtained from animal tissue, plants, and microbes, like yeast, bacteria, or fungi. For example, this scheme show biocatalysis Baker yet in this three multi-component reactions. Also, another emerging approach using in multi-component reactions that innovative easily recoverable catalysis is the use of magnetic particle as a catalyst or supported for catalyst. For example, this three multi-component reactions use it Fe3O4 that is simply washing step with acetic acid and easily absorbed on the magnetic steering bar and can be reused up to 12 times. Other methods that has effect on multi-component reactions is using different sources of energy, for example microwave radiation. Heating reaction with this source radiation has enormous advantage over normal heating methods because when we use polar solvents, the reaction media is heating up more efficiently and causing shorter reaction time. For this reason, microwave radiation can be sometimes substituted a catalyst that would otherwise be necessary in certain multi-component reactions to achieve good result in short reaction time. As we can see, in this reaction, the comparison between conventional heating or microwave irradiation and the result observed by Hassan Najid and co-workers. And another strategy employed to obtain better result in, in performing reaction with ultrasonic radiation. Ultrasound irradiation is especially useful in the reaction where the starting reactants are nearly insoluble in the reaction media. Multiphasic system is forming. Or when volatile gases are generated in the reaction and in the reaction that involving radical or ionic species. And the scheme shows the tenses of the hydropyrolus and the ultrasound irradiation or normal steering condition. The time is very short and the yield is better. Other methods that can be effectively employed in multi-component reactions are infrared or photochemical irradiation. These approach are useful in specific circumstances where reactants absorb those type of radiation and promoting their reactions with other reagents. We discover new multi-component reactions by using rational designers. Designing new multi-component approaches in a less haphazard and more rational manner. This is vital for increasing limiting scaffold diversity obtaining by the multi-component reactions reported until now. To do so, five different methods, and most of them excellently explained by Oru and co workers in their reviews, been developed to discover new multi component reactions. Methods Single Reactant Replacement, which is known by SRR, Reactant Operator Strategy, ROS, and Modular Reaction Sequency, MRS, and Combination of the Multi Component Reactions. And the first one is single reactant replacement methods for multi-component reactions. In this strategy, what the first proposed by Ganem and involving the replacement of one reactant with the different reactant that show the same essential reactivity with other reagents, carrying out the same roles in the reaction mechanism. This approach has been demonstrated to be a valuable tool providing different final product by incorporating additional functionality in the reactant. And the second one is reaction operator strategy. This approach is defined by Mirono. There is a simultaneous replacement of two or more reagents with different reagents that show the same essential reactivity. The name of this strategy came from the comparison of the chemical reaction with mathematical functions. In this reaction, a reaction operator would be equivalent to the function operator in mathematics.
This Fourier operator is introduced as a logarithm in computer controlled system, whose function is to find new reactions by using pre existing reactions as a starting point with the help of reaction preparation and analytical automated system. One of the best strategies for discovering new multi component reactions is a replacement one of components by other, which also called single reactant replacement SRR. After 35 years since the original Yugi reactions, the variation in one starting materials from an acid to phenol derivatives has made possible to development of new versions of Yugi smile coupling. The Yugi smile is an example of single reactant replacement and the main difference between Yugi four component reactions and Yugi smile four component reactions is that using phenol derivatives instead of acid derivatives. We can see in the scheme from the left and right. The third type is MRS and third approach involving a versatile reaction intermediate that is initially generated through multi-component reactions from different substances. This compound is further treated with a range of different compounds to produce diverse set of more complex structures. And CBD, the use of specific catalysts or solvents or additives could guide a reaction along different pathways, producing distinct final products. And the final set strategy for the rational designing is the combination of two or more different type of multi-component reactions. In this combinational chemistry approach, there are 10 compounds with different functionalities that participated in multi-component reaction not only with the reagents of this multi-component, but also reacted with the molecules from different multi-component reactions. When the result of each individual multi-component reaction are now, it may be possible to predict what product would be obtained from the mixture both multi-component reactions via link carrying molecules. Discover new multi-component reactions. Also, there are some tools that can help researchers to make a decision when performing multi-component reactions. Combinatorial chemistry. In this approach, a robotic dispensing system prepares the reactions, then they are studied via automated high performance liquid chromatography and or mass spectroscopy systems. And finally, the data is collected and evaluated by computer. This may save considerable amount of time. And computational and analytical tools to study multi-component reactions. Even so, serendipity has always played a pivotal role in discovering new type of multi-component reactions. There are some tools that can help researchers to make a decision when performing multi-component reactions. For example, there are computational programs that predict the main product when different static reagents are put together in a reaction, enabling creation of huge virtual compound libraries. However, designing an enormous amount of product to synthesize is not very practical, since preparing and testing every product would be require considerable amount of time. Fortunately, there are computational programs that deal with these challenges. These programs sift through the virtual library that compiles the results product from specific multi-component reactions, selecting this product that may have biological activity and the ability to use these programs to target specific biological activity make them especially appealing for drug discovery. The result obtained after this filtering step is, must always be verifying through experimental workers. However, doing this computational study first can save time and effort. Another strategy is using analytical technique to study multi-component reactions. There are diverse techniques that have appeared through recently and are still being developed, such as coupling liquid chromatography or mass spectroscopy, nuclear magnetic resonance. These techniques allow having better knowledge of crude reaction mixture, making it possible in many cases to identify byproduct, intermediate and the main product. This is helpful for interpreting the mechanisms that govern this multi-component reactions, which help researchers to predict whether or not certain change in the reaction result in variation in the final structure. Also knowing different multi-component reaction mechanism may help to predict whether second multi-component reaction have favorable result or not. There are several important books about multi-component reactions between 2010 and 2017. And also previous examples are collected in an expressional book edited by Zhu and Binyamin, published in 2005. Since then, a great number of interesting and important reviews have also been written. For this reason, only the most pivotal examples will be reported and commented 
and I will put all of the link of references in the description below.